Hello children. Today I am again back with standard 8 English grammar chapter number 3 verbs expressing the past. So dear students before moving on to our third chapter I would like to tell you something. Children this is the chance which God has given you to cope up with your studies. So dear children please utilize your time in studying the chapter which we have already completed. So now today we are going to start our standard 8th grammar English chapter chapter number 3. Now in the previous chapter which we learnt that was about present tense. Now in the present tense I explained you the four types of present tenses. Let's first revise the four types of present tenses. That was, first was simple present. In that, we used the verbs with S, E, S, without S. Now, the second tense was present continuous tense. In that tense, we used what was the rule which we were following. It was ISMR plus ING form of the verb. As according to the subject, if it is singular or plural, we were using am, is and are. The third tense was perfect tense, means present perfect tense. In that, according to the subject, we used has, have, plus the third form means V3 form of the verb. And the last was has, have, plus been, plus verb, plus ing that we used in present perfect continuous tense. So dear students, today we are going to start with the past tense. In the same way as we did it in present, there is a little bit change in the past tense. In that also there are four types of past tenses that is simple past, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. So first when we use simple past, the rule which we follow is the second form of the Verb means V2 form of verb we use in that. Then the next one is past continuous tense. In that according to the subject we use was and were plus ing form of the verb. Then the four, third one that is past perfect. In that we use had in that whether the subject is singular or or plural we use the word had plus the v3 form of the verb then the next one is the last one that is past perfect continuous tense in that the form which we write is had been plus ing form of the verb then this future tense will move on afterwards now let's begin with the textual chapter So dear students, here we are on our chapter number 3 that is verbs expressing the past. The rule chart which I have explained you, the same thing I have noted down over here with the examples. These are the four sentences which are given over here with the examples of all the four tenses of past form, types of past forms. The first one is Arjun was tired after the cricket match. Here the word was is the be verb over here and in this the verb the form which is used that is v2 form of the verb then the next one is he was playing in the sun all evening here the formation which i explained you about the rule was that was where plus ing form of the verb so was plus playing then the third one is he had gone to the beach with his family. In this dear students, this is the example of past perfect tense in that the formation will be had plus v3 form of the verb. So as it is used over here, had plus the v3 form of go will be gone. Then the last one, they had been relaxing on the beach for a long time. In this, the rule which will be applied will be had plus been plus ing form of the verb as it is used over here 
had plus b in plus ing form of relax will be relaxing so before moving on forward i would like to show you an animation according to the type of tenses first we'll move on to the simple past tense the tense an action can be broadly placed under any of the three tenses the present tense the past tense and the future tense the tense of a verb shows the time of an action or event there are four forms in the present tense past tense and future tense indefinite or simple tense continuous or imperfect tense perfect tense perfect continuous tense here we will learn about past tense past tense there are four forms of past tense indefinite or simple tense continuous or imperfect tense perfect tense perfect continuous tense simple past tense simple past tense shows an action or activity completed in the past examples she sang a song he wrote a book i sang a song there are four forms of past tense indefinite or simple tense continuous or imperfect tense perfect tense perfect continuous tense there are four types of simple past sentences statement sentences interrogative sentences negative sentences interrogative negative sentences statement sentences a subject followed by the second form of the verb forms it form colon subject plus the second form of the verb plus examples i walked we sang you played she stood they sat simple past interrogative sentences it is formed by did followed by subject and first form of the verb form did plus subject plus the first form of the verb plus examples did i read did we sing did you play did he or she stand did they sit three simple past negative sentences it is formed by the subject followed by did not and first form of the verb form subject plus did not plus the first form of the verb plus examples i did not read we did not sing you did not play she did not stand she did not sit Four simple interrogative and negative sentences. These are formed by did not, followed by the subject and first form of the verb. Form did plus not plus subject plus first form of the verb. Examples: Didn't I read? Didn't we sing? Didn't you play? Didn't he stand? Didn't they sit? For more entertainment. Log on and subscribe to www. So, dear students, as we saw how we have to use the past simple tense, and we saw the examples of all the four tenses above. Now, let's move on to this table. In this, it has been given the uses when we use simple past tense with their examples over here. So, first of all. we use simple past tense to talk about actions that were started and completed in the past jo pehle bhutkal mein shuru hue the aur tabhi khatam ho chuke hain then the second one to show that something was true for some time in the past means jo past bhutkal mein kuch cheeze jo hui thi jo sahi thi true thi then the third one to indicate that an action happened repeatedly in the past ek action ek sthiti jo bar bar hui thi bhutkal mein and the fourth to show a sequence of events that happened in the past aur bahut sari cheeze ek ke baad ek jo khatam ho chuki hai bhutkal mein then adverbs of time like yesterday on monday last week 
in the 1990s at 6:30 in january and a few days ago are used with the verbs in the simple past tense ye sare words simple past tense mein use kiye jate hain then the next table this is it's showing what is the formation of the sentence how do we form the sentence in the positive negative and a question so for, when we are forming a positive sentence in the past tense the formation of the sentence will be like this first the base form of the verb will come plus d means we have to use the v2 form of the word in that simple past tense and the second one the correct past tense form of irregular words some words are which are irregular that change the word from present to past that is go change uh, got get changes to got so that we have to use then when we are forming the negative sentence the formation will be we have to use the word did plus not plus the base form of the verb means that is v1 form of the verb means did plus not plus collect then when we form a question that time we have to use the formation did plus subject plus base form of the verb did he collect the price then when we are using the question word to form a question first first the question word comes plus did comes plus subject and then the base form of the verb as it is given over here what plus did plus he plus get as a price now let's move on to our first exercise in this you have to use the words which are given in the help box according to the sentence and you have to use their past form means v2 form in the sentence the first one is already been done for you the second one is i and when you are forming a negative sentence that time with that you have to use did not not the v2 form of the verb it will come did not call him up yesterday i will do so today and when it is not a negative sentence that time the v2 form of the word from the help box you have to write it over here as it is given in the third one our parents taught us the value of kindness and honesty because of which we are good citizens now now the next one again it's a negative sentence so we have to use the word with the didn't form oh i am sorry i didn't realize you were sleeping then fifth one it's a type of a it's a question form so question word is coming over here with that you have to use did they and the v1 form start the next new cafe last week or earlier see let's uh, children whenever you are use uh, writing a question or a negative sentence in the past tense the did form you have to use it with the v1 form of the verb then the sixth one again this uh, this is a question so you will use did first did plus subject plus v1 form of the verb see the bird that flew by then the seventh one is a negative question so the formation will be hina did not accept the job because the timings didn't suit her the last one is also a negative one so with the subject we will use did not eat the food as it had become stale now dear students the next exercise in that also you have to use simple past tense form of the verbs which are given in the bracket the first one is it's a type a conversation which is going on in that you have to use the simple past tense the first one is peter says have you ever been to an amusement park he is asking a question so paul replies yes i the v2 form of go will be went to one last year then peter asks he is asking a question so you will use the word did you did with subject you have to use did what did you see then paul is answering i saw 
and enjoyed many rides in this you have used the v2 form of the words which are given in the bracket then the second conversation is deepa is asking have you seen seema this morning neha replies i met her an hour ago i have not seen her since in this the sentence is positive so we use the v2 form of the word then the third conversation is sneha is saying i lost my pen last week i searched for it everywhere and still have not found it the positive sentence is there over here farooq says i inquired at the library too it is not there either now the fourth one is mayur is saying nandini topped the class madhu says really i thought atul had then the fifth one is mumtaz is asking have you ever been white watering rafting ranjan says yes i have we went to rishikesh last year on a family holiday mumtaz is asking again the question formation is there so we will use did you where did you stay ranjan says we stayed in anand ananda then dear students the next exercise is you have to use uh this one a paragraph is given over here according to that you have to use the simple past tense a newspaper story is been given over here from the help box you have to use the words in the appropriate places and their v2 forms so let's begin with the paragraph among the soldiers who fought on the northern sector and returned home alive is bv sadash shivappa of the madras infantry sada shivappa who hails from bhadravathi joined the indian army 12 years ago he served for a year in nagaland fighting the insurgents when the call from the southern sector came dear students you have to use here the v1 form is given so you have to use the v2 form according to the sentences he had a narrow escape when his battalion was ambushed on june 20 their bunkers was destroyed in the attack but sada shivappa not only escaped unhurt but captured two of the intruders then the second one a story is been told over here about the holds children captive again here the v1 form of the words are given in the help box you have to use the v2 form of that in this paragraph according to the sentences it was a trip into the magical world of storytelling for the children of the book of mount road here on sunday needless to say the children enjoyed every minute of the story session miss janet who read the stories conducted two fun filled sessions for children between the ages of 4 and 12 parents sitting around found the sessions just as absorbing as their children means the parents also enjoyed very much it introduced us to a new approach said miss dev who had come along with her son now dear students the next topic this we have completed about the simple past tense the next one is about past continuous tense in which i have explained you in the rules we use the form subject plus was where plus ing form of the verb we use was where dear students according to the subject if the subject is singular we use the word was and if it is plural we use the word were in the sentence with the ing form now before moving on to this tense i would like you to show an animated video over here so let's have a look at the video
past continuous tense. Past continuous tense is used to describe an action or activity going on at some time in the past. Examples. The boys were going to school. I was speaking to my younger brother. There are four types of sentences under this tense. Statement sentences, interrogative sentences, negative sentences, interrogative negative sentences. Statement sentence. It is formed by the subject, followed by was, where, and the verb in ing form. Form, subject plus was, were, plus verb in the ing form. Examples, I was reading, we were singing, you were playing, she was standing, they were sitting. Past continuous interrogative sentence. It is formed by was, were, followed by the subject and verb in ing form. Examples. Was I reading? Were we singing? Were you playing? Was she standing? Were they sitting? Past continuous negative sentence. It is formed by the subject followed by was not, were not and the verb in ing form. Examples. I was not reading, we were not singing, you were not playing, she was not standing, they were not sitting. Past continuous interrogative and negative sentences. They are formed by was not, were not, followed by subject and verb in ing form. Examples. Wasn't I reading? Weren't we singing? Weren't you playing? Wasn't he standing? Weren't they sitting? For more entertainment, log on and subscribe to. So dear students, as you watch the video, in that also we form the three types of sentences in this positive, negative and interrogative. Now, when do we use past continuous tense? So the uses are given over here with the examples how we use the past continuous tense. In that, first of all, we use the past continuous tense to refer to an action that was going on for a certain period of time in the past. Means, when the past time was there, Bhut Kal mein, ye action chal raha tha. Then, the second one is to show that something happened while another action was still going on. और ये बताने के लिए कि कुछ हो रहा था जब कुछ दूसरी दूसरा एक्शन भी चल रहा था देन टू शो दैट एन एक्शन हैपन्ड रिपीटेडली इन द पास्ट मींस द एक्शन व्हिच इज हैपनिंग रिपीटेडली मींस बार बार वो एक्शन हो रहा है जैसे रोहित वाज टेकिंग एक्टिंग लेसंस लास्ट मंथ वो कंटीन्यूअसली ले रहा था लास्ट मंथ मींस भूत काल में वो एक्शन चल रहा था बार-बार and the last one to show change or growth means the leaves were changing colors जो growth हो रहा है तो changes हो रहे हैं उस बारे में बताने के लिए we use the past continuous tense then dear students we use the past continuous tense and the simple past tense together कभी कभी ये दोनों tenses हम साथ में use करते हैं for two actions that were going on at the same time in the past. जब दो actions हो रहे हैं भूत काल में, तब ये हम दोनों action, दोनों tenses साथ में use करते हैं. We use the past continuous tense for the longer action. हम past continuous tense कब use करते हैं? जो लंबा action है, उसके लिए हम past continuous tense use करते हैं. And the tense which is shorter, जो छोटा action है, उसके लिए हम simple past use करते हैं. Then, as the example is given over here, कि I was writing an essay when I dropped my pen. As जैसे dear students, ये writing an essay है वो लंबा action है. इसलिए हमने उसके साथ past continuous tense use किया. And dropped the pen वो एक छोटा action है, तुरंत हो जा रहा है. तो उसके लिए हमने use किया simple past tense. Then dear students, let's move on to the formation of the sentences which is given over here in the table. So, when we form the positive sentence, that time the formation will be with the subject we use was where according to the singular plural subject, with singular we use was and with plural, plural subject we use were plus present participle means ing form of the verb. 
then the next is when we form negative sentence the formation will be was were plus not plus present participle means ing form of the verb then when you are forming a question so the was were form will come in the starting then plus subject then the present participle means ing form of the verb then when we are using the question word so first the question word comes then we use was were according to the subject plus the subject and plus the present participle means ing form of the verb the same thing is applied over here in the next exercise here some sentences are given over here the police ha has asked the residents of a building what they were doing when the bur burglary occurred now the report has to be given in past continuous tense according to the sentence clue which is given over here in this we have to use past continuous tense with the verb as the first one is given over here mr madhukar mowed the lawn lawn so in that we have to use the past continuous tense we have to use the word was where plus the ing form of the verb so the sentence which will be formed will be mr madhukar was moving the lawn you have to add ing to the verb and with that you have to use was or were according to the subject then dear students the next one second one which is given is mrs jones and her daughter watch favorite tv serial in that mr mrs jones and her daughter means this is a plural subject we will use were plus ing form of watch that is watching then the rest will remain as it is their favorite tv serial then the third one mr kumar prepare breakfast in this here the subject is singular we will use mr kumar was with that ing form of prepare that is preparing breakfast the mehtas get ready for work now the mehtas means it is a plural form we will use were plus getting means uh, ing form of get that is getting ready for work then the fifth one miss suzy go do yoga so in that this is singular miss suzy plus was plus ing form of do that is doing yoga then the last one is mr khan write letter here mr khan that is singular form so was will be used plus ing form of write that is writing a letter now in the next exercise dear students you have to use past continuous tense and simple past tense as i have explained you earlier in that if the action is going on for a longer period in the past you will use past continuous tense and if it is going on for a shorter period you will use simple past tense now see the first one sunanda was cleaning her room in this the action is continuing for a longer time that time we are using past continuous tense and the next when her cat jumped on to her lap this is a shorter action so we used simple past that is v2 form of the word now the second one is the reporters rushed means this is a shorter action so we used v2 form in while they were having lunch this is the longer action so we are using past continuous tense now the third one is it was raining heavily this action is going on continuously for a longer period so we are using past continuous tense on the night we heard the loud again the same thing shorter action then the fourth one my mother cut her hand this is a shorter action while she was chopping vegetables means that this action is going on for a longer period then the fifth one is sumit was eating a piece of cake means this is going on for longer time when his friend took a picture of him with his mouth full this is a shorter action so we used v2 form then sixth one when the man from the courier service came short action i was 
sleeping means this is a longer action which is going on then the seventh one is mohan lost his wallet again the same thing short action while he was jogging the longer action is going on then the eighth one vikas was taking a bath longer action when he slipped on the soap this is short action means v2 form we have used over here then the ninth one they waited for the train to stop means short action when the lights went out tenth one i wanted to buy the books that riya was reading last week again the same thing is over here this is a short action so we used v2 form and this action is going on for long time so we used the past continuous form of the verb then the 11th one the delhi bound frontier mail ran short action at close to 100 km an hour in a certain compartment of the train were sitting two men means they was going on they were facing each other means this is a longer action for an hour or so they were means you have to use the be verb be means you have to use the be verb in past tense the be verb are was and were so v2 form of that means you have to use were over here silent then one of them broke the ice means this is a short action by asking the other whether he was going to delhi this is a longer action which is happening over here so we used past continuous tense then the 12th one jim fax became an american millionaire through his books on jogging strangely enough he himself died while he was jogging means here the short action was there so we used v2 form and here the longer action was going on that is we used past continuous and dear students everywhere aap log ko kya karna hai jab bhi do action kam waqt ke liye ho raha hai that time you, aap log ko simple past tense use karna एंड जब वो एक्शन लंबे समय के लिए हो रहा होगा तब आप लोगों को पास्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस यूज करना है देन द थर्टीन वन इज आई एक्चुअली वॉन्टेड टू कॉल यू लास्ट नाइट बट माई एक्सीडेंट बट बाय एक्सीडेंट आई डाइल्ड रोशंस नंबर मीन्स यहाँ पे कम समय के लिए हुआ तो वी यूज द वी टू फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्क देन ही वॉज नॉट डूइंग यहाँ पे वो एक्शन कंटिन्यू हो रहा है एनी थिंग स्पेशल एट दैट मोमेंट एंड सो वी चैट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम देन द फोर्टींथ वन वी वर वो सॉरी डियर स्टूडेंट्स वॉट वर यू डूइंग वेन आई कॉल्ड ऑन यू यस्टरडे इवनिंग आई रैंक दिस इज फॉर अ शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम द बेल अ नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स बट You were not answering the door means ये लंबे समय के लिए हुआ इसलिए हमने past continuous tense use किया Again the be verb you have to use I was so keen to see you I had have का past tense will be had something very urgent to discuss with you so probably was you were probably sleeping after a late time again this was happening for a long period so we used past continuous tense now students the last sentence is we saw a gigantic wave moving towards us means this is for a short period so we used v2 form over here then it washed everything in its past matlab ye ho chuka hai turant hi ho chuka hai so we used v2 form of the verb and we were shaking with fright at the experience ye lambe samay ke liye hua so we used past continuous tense over here later we heard it was a tsunami so dear students i hope you would have under understood this two tenses which i explained over here so you have to write this two textual all the textual exercise with a pencil in the textbook itself thank you dear students